Yes, we're finally getting more and more confirmation that this year's Apple Watch Series 8 will have a model with a flat-sided design. Finally, a redesign after so many years having the same old curved design. So what I'm going to do in this video is go through all of the brand new leaks and rumors and go through the story of how we thought there's going to be a flat Apple Watch with the Series 7, but it didn't happen. But thankfully, there are a lot of puzzle pieces coming together right now that are showing that we are likely to get the flat design this year. So let's get right into it. Now, first of all, this new leak that just came out this morning comes from Shrimp Apple Pro. He's actually the one that showed off the new Pill Plus cutout design. He was the first one to talk about it way back in the summer of 2021 before even the iPhone 13 came out. And now everyone agrees with him, including all the cads. Now, this morning he came out and said, guess what is going flat this year at John Prosser. Now, as soon as I saw this, I knew exactly what he was talking about. Almost a full year ago, John Prosser, who owns Front Page Tech, came out with exclusive renders with a new flat-sided Apple Watch design that everybody thought was coming for the Series 7. And the even crazier thing is that Mark Gurman, who's the most reliable Apple analyst, actually came out with a report before we saw the new Apple Watch Series 7 saying that this year's design is all about the new flatter display and edges. So yes, Mark Gurman vouched for John Prosser's leak. Not only that, Ming Shi Kuo also said the same thing right before the Apple event that showed off the new Series 7, saying that Apple is preparing an iPhone 12-esque look for the watch with flat sides and squared off edges exactly what John Prosser showed off in his renders. But unfortunately, when the event finally came around, this is what Apple gave us. Both the case and the display of Series 7 have softer, more rounded corners. Softer, more rounded corners. Yes, he just said that. Nowhere near the new flat design that we were expecting. Now initially, I thought everything went catastrophically wrong and Apple had to switch up the design and come out with that new Series 7, but I have changed my theory and I now believe that Apple planned the flat design for last year's Series 7, but they ended up holding off for another year because in March of last year, Mark Gurman said that Apple was planning to launch a new rugged Apple Watch model for extreme sports. However, a little bit later, he said that the Explorer Edition was delayed and it could arrive next year. So Apple basically delayed their plans for the Explorer Edition. And I believe that's exactly what we are getting this year, especially after a couple months back, John Prosser was on a podcast with Mac Rumors and he revealed some very, very interesting information. As you can see right here, John Prosser was showing off this CAD file that his source sent to him. And based on what he saw, he assumed that the one on the left is actually the same old Series 6, and the one on the right was the flat sided Series 7. But then he realized the entire time that the one on the left was actually the new, more rounded Series 7, but he didn't realize that until after the event, and the one on the right is most likely destined to be within the Series 8 lineup, and this is exactly what he admitted. He expects this year's Apple Watch to have a flat-sided model. But jumping back to Shrimp Apple Pro's tweets from this morning, he retweeted his own tweet talking about what's going flat this year, and he did confirm with this source that there is gonna be a flat front glass display for the Apple Watch. And he says there's a high chance that this is the front glass for the Apple Watch Series 8. Now, he didn't mention anything about the redesign with the flat sides or anything, but this does confirm that the display this time is gonna be flat, which is a complete change from the displays that we've always had on the Apple Watch. And I think this means that we're likely to get that flat design. And he also added some more information saying that it's getting ready for mass production relatively soon, probably the same time as the front glass of the iPhone 14 lineup. Now this is a huge deal for me because for the last few months, I've been just going hard on this theory that there is gonna be a new flat-sided Apple Watch Series 8, and I think that it's gonna be called the Pro Model 
because Apple is gonna show it off as an even better, more expensive edition, special edition, with flat sides and a flat display because it is gonna be more rugged. It's gonna be harder to break the glass because it's gonna be receded under the metal rim, so it's basically gonna be more rugged. And to show you guys the proof for my theory on why there could be the extra more expensive Pro model, we actually have a really awesome leak from Ross Young who says that the Series 8 lineup will be coming in three different sizes, which is crazy. Back in October, he tweeted this, don't be surprised if there are three sizes next year in terms of the Apple Watch. And he even said, would you like to see a bigger display on Series 8 on the Apple Watch in 2022? Now this basically confirms that there is gonna be an even larger display than the one that we just got with the Series 7, which is 41 millimeters and 45 millimeters. And to make everything even better, in December, Mark Gurman came out and confirmed that there are now gonna be three different Apple Watch models selling this year. He said there's gonna be a new Apple Watch SE, a rugged model for sports, and a regular Series 8 Apple Watch. So that's three different Apple Watches in the lineup. And then a couple days after that, Ming Chi Kuo, who was also a famous and reliable Apple analyst, said the same thing. Three new Apple Watch models coming in 2022. And in my opinion, this basically confirms that Apple is now getting rid of the old Series 3 Apple Watch with the old square display design. So now they're gonna have three different display sizes. And as you can see right here, Apple's Clear made a render of the three designs that we should be expecting. He shows off the Series 4 display design, which was released in 2018. And that's the same for the Series 5, the Series 6, and the Apple Watch SE. And then of course we have the new Series 7 with the larger display size. And then the Series 8 with an even larger display size. However, he does not show off the flat sided design at all, which I think it is going to be getting. And I think it's going to be exclusive for the new Rugged or Pro model, while the regular Series 8 will have the same display specs as the Series 7. And now on top of that, Shrimp Apple Pro actually replied to a tweet asking if the bezels are getting way slimmer. He says that the bezels are staying the same size despite having a flat display, which I think is gonna be larger. And now you might think that it makes total sense for the bezel size to be reduced if you're increasing the display size, but not always because when the iPhone 12 came out, it had the same 6.1 inch display size. However, it was actually smaller, 15% smaller. And that's because we went from a rounded design to a flat sided design. So when you're cutting off those edges, you're actually squeezing in the chassis around the same display size as you can see right here. Check this out. If we compare it to iPhone 11, iPhone 12 is 11% thinner, 15% smaller in volume and 16% lighter. And now if you're wondering why I think the new larger display size leads to a more expensive Pro model, well, that's because when you're talking about Apple, whenever they have a larger display on a product, it's always more expensive than the smaller display products. So because of that, back in December, I tweeted out this 2022 Apple Watch lineup in my opinion. We have the 40 to 44 millimeter Apple Watch SE with an unchanged display size, and it's probably gonna come with up graded internals and specs based on the Series 6 instead of the Series 5, which the current SE is based on, and it's gonna be between $250 to $280. Then we have the 41 to 45 millimeter Apple Watch Series 8, which is basically the same as the Series 7 display size for $400. And then finally, we have the brand new larger display, 42 to 46 millimeter display size with the square edge design, and that's gonna be the Explorer edition or the Pro model for between $400 and $450. But honestly, at this point, I think Apple can charge even more, especially if they're gonna make it come standard with titanium material instead of aluminum. They could even price it at five, six, seven hundred dollars And the reason I'm holding on to the Pro title is because Apple once considered launching an Apple Watch 
Pro. Yes, there was a time in 2015 when they actually had this image, Apple Watch Pro, they were gonna release it, but they decided to hold off and not release the Pro model. So in my opinion, I think the time is now for Apple to be able to make extra revenue and raise the average sales price for the Apple Watch lineup with the new Pro model, and that could allow them to put the best features and newest features onto the Pro model first before bringing it down to the rest of the Apple Watch lineup. Now, in terms of what else we should expect with the new Apple Watch Series 8, well, according to Ming Co, it could be getting a body temperature sensor that didn't make it to the Series 7 it could also be getting a new satellite connectivity feature along with the new iPhones as well. And it could also be getting a new crash detection feature where if you get into a car crash and you're unresponsive, it could automatically dial 911 for you, which is awesome. And of course, there's probably gonna be a bunch of other specs, upgrades and features as well. But I think the big deal is that there's more confirmation from Shrimp Apple Pro that we're getting a new flat redesign with a new flat display, and that is gonna be a huge deal. Now, if you totally disagree with my thoughts on this, let me know down in the comment section below. Definitely check out one of those two videos right there, and click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.